Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here, and to get started we're going to assume you have EmuDeck already installed, but we're not going to assume that you have Xenia already installed. So we're going to go ahead and jump into EmuDeck and make sure that uh, under Manage Emulators that you have Xenia's emulator installed. It's right there, so I know I've got it. But you may want to go ahead and update it by clicking on it and selecting Reinstall Update. Maybe reset the configuration if you haven't used Xenia before. Pretty simple, straightforward, easy stuff. In just a moment, it'll go ahead and make sure you have the latest and greatest version of Xenia. And uh, that's all we have to really do here. Now we're going to go wherever you downloaded your Xbox 360 Poker Smash from XBLA. It's a single file. It should be named what it's called, no extensions. And you are going to move it to emulation, ROMs, Xbox 360. And then inside of ROMs, there's an XBLA folder. Should be empty right now. We'll go ahead and move Poker Smash right on over there. Easy peasy. And that's it. Now let's go ahead and hop ourselves back over to gaming mode and run Emulation Station. Now, if everything worked as planned, you should now have an Xbox 360, an Xbox 360 entry. And we're just going to nip on over there and borrow Tom's 360. There we go. And inside, you'll see an XBLA folder and Poker Smash. You could probably move it up a folder. I'm just keeping it in there to keep track of things. We're going to go down here and see if we can scrape the metadata from this. Um, there's some metadata here, but there's no pictures, no videos. We obviously need to do something about that, but at least there's some metadata there. All right, now it's time to see if our hard work has paid off. We'll go ahead and launch it. Come on. And there's Xbox Live. So far, so good. I chose Poker Smash because the game has a very strange cult following. Like, all of my friends absolutely love this game on the 360. And we just recently got in, asked in Reddit uh, how this game plays. So I thought I would kill two birds with one stone. Notice this says the trial version. Yeah, you're probably going, uh, trial? No. No trial version. Well, we'll fix that in a minute. Let's just make sure it actually works before we go through the effort. And here we go. I skipped the tutorial. I did all that. I just wanted you to actually see that uh, the game itself runs and that it runs well. Obviously, online leaderboards, things of that nature and stature aren't going to be there. But you can see the game works fine. I've purposefully muted the sound, so don't worry about it. There's sound. Just wanted to let you know that it's there, just not in this video. But if you've played Poker Smash before, you know what's going on here. Try to make hands five in a row. Uh, there you go. Three aces. You make poker hands. It's sort of like Tetris meets poker. Make straights. Do the whole bit. But you can see it plays extraordinarily well. Now, will all Xbox Live arcade games play as well as this? Hard to say. Xenia is new and fresh. But this seems to be the game that everybody wants to play. So that's why I chose this one and why we're playing it here for just a little bit so that you can see everything looks as it should. I don't know, it kind of feels like the genre has sort of been done to death. Now, see right here, it says unlock full version to save achievements. Now, obviously, there's really not really an achievement system going on here, but we do want to make sure that the full game is unlocked and you can't just do it. See, the trial version is limited to five minutes. Um, we don't we don't want the restrictions of that. So. Um, we're not going to do that in Emulation Station. We're going to kill two birds with one stone. We're going to inject this into Steam using Steam ROM Manager. And then I'm going to show you how to trick the licensing into ensuring that the full game is unlocked all the time. Now, this is abandonware. This has been dead off the market for a really long time. This is not piracy. This is simple abandonware play. All right, so we're going to go back to desktop mode. We're going to run EmuDeck again. And we are going to go to the all-elusive Steam ROM Manager. Now, don't get excited about Steam ROM Manager, at least in some of these XBLA games, because they don't have a clue what that game is. As you can see here, we're going to go ahead and run Steam ROM Manager. We're going to turn off the parsers, and then we're going to go down until we find Microsoft Xenia. I'm going to just go ahead and tag both of those on and parse. And it thinks it's some Nickelodeon 4-in-1 game, right? And if you 
change stuff, it'll still say it's a Nickelodeon Game Boy game. That's okay. All we need is that the entry gets injected. So let's just go ahead and hit save to Steam. And it adds the entries. Now we are done with Steam ROM Manager. And we're done with EmuDeck, really. Now we're going to go ahead and launch Steam. We have a little bit more work to do here. By the way, if you try to use Steam Grid DB to match the graphics on this particular game, it comes up with a goose egg. So we're going to have to get some decent artwork to pass around, I think, from the community point of view. All right, so I have to go fight Steam off my other screen. And uh, here we go. So probably the easiest way to find this thing, uh, you can try typing it. Um, but I assure you, uh, it's not going to find it because it thought it was some Game Boy game, right? I don't remember what the game was. So let's go over to, let's, hey, let's go over to collections and take a look. Now, it put it underneath Xbox 360 Live, but that's definitely not it. So let's go in here and at least change the name, right? Unbelievable. Here we go. Blah, blah, blah. Poker smash. Now, here's the launch options you need. Dash, dash, license, underscore, mask, space, minus one. This will be in the description down below so that you can make sure you've got it exactly right. This is basically telling Xenia it's the full version. It really, it's really that easy if you can believe it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and run Poker Smash. Once again, from gaming mode, inside of Steam. Want to make sure all is well and that that uh, trial version crap is out the door. And we wait. Okay, hey, look there, look there. No more trial version. Excellent, we have the full game and we are ready to enjoy this timeless, delisted, abandoned wear classic. Listen, I hope you enjoyed what you saw here. If you do, of course, you know how to help us out. Please like, subscribe, hit that little notification bell. And uh, it's been great having you here. Uh, this should be a lot of fun. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, take care, everybody.